She's a volunteer legend in the making, greeting people who need services and matching them to providers. She staffs the Second Mile Mission Center Medical Clinic, and she also volunteers at MD Anderson. She is outstanding in what she does. She works with the people. She has a genuine interest in helping people. Helping people when she herself is in need of help. Four years ago, Pat and the staff at Second Mile got the shocking news. She was diagnosed with stage four terminal breast cancer about four years ago. Through it all, her charity work has not wavered. She shows up even on days which might keep others in bed. It's really no surprise to those who know her best, and this presidential recognition is only a small way to pay her back for years of selfless service. And people actually do say, I'm too busy to volunteer. And then we look at a person like Pat, who's battling cancer, whose days on this earth are unknown to us, but known to the Father in heaven. And he has put in her heart to make a difference in the life of somebody else. It's actually pretty rare when you find somebody that special who's willing to help others even in the midst of her own personal crisis. We talked to Ms. McWaters after she had, just a couple minutes after she had her little uh, talk with the, the president and here's what she had to say. What did he say to you? Uh, he said thanks for your courage. Did you say anything to him? I can't remember. <laughs> I asked him if I could hug him and I did. He said it was good to be home. When I think about Patma Waters, uh, it's an inspiration. Uh, inspiration for myself, and when I think of her, I think about Second Mile. Uh, and Patma Waters has been a great blessing uh, for the mission. Uh, every time you see her, she's always with a big smile, and never see her down. I always see her outstanding, going forward. When I first got involved on the board, Pat was a volunteer here, and she was undergoing her cancer treatment, and yet she would show up faithfully week every week with an amazing spirit, a love for the clients, a love for the Lord, a love for the mission, uh, and never wavered. And her commitment to the mission and to caring for others is just an inspiration. Uh, saying nice things about Pat McWaters is very easy for me. The first word that comes to mind is feisty. Pat is full of energy. She's devoted to Second Mile, uh, always willing to come down and work, no matter how bad she feels. She puts everyone else to shame. And I, if I had to say there was a heart or a soul of Second Mile, I would think of Pat McWaters. I've never seen anyone that completely devoted to any organization the way that Pat is to Second Mile. Pat has been a, a wonderful asset to Second Mile. She's been a volunteer as long as I've known her and she's been on the board for the last several years and just been such a, a tremendous asset to Second Mile. She's, she's an inspiration to everybody that, that knows her or is around her. She's always got energy and spark and ready to go and she loves Second Mile and she's just uh, been, been such a, a, a wonderful plus to this, to this mission. In fact, uh, she's been sort of synonymous with, with the mission. When you think of Second Mile, you think of Pat and uh, she's uh, been an inspiration to me. She's got so much strength and energy, and, and uh, yeah, I've never seen her down, even in days when she's spent many hours in, in, the, in, in the hospital in, in treatment. But she's just always positive and ready to go, and she's just, uh, it's been a great blessing to me to, to know her, and, and uh, it's been a, a true inspiration. It's my honor to talk about Pat McWaters today. She is, to second mile, the most valuable longest volunteer we have. She's been with us since I have been here. I've been here almost six years and Pat has served in every capacity you can possibly think of. We could not have made it without Pat. Pat's been on the board. She's been um, just a gym, a servant. Um, everything that Christ would want us to represent and um, it's been an honor and privilege serving with Pat.